Good morning, I'm Sullivan Morris. I'm in sixth grade at Buffalo Creek Middle School and my weather question is, how is the eye of a hurricane formed and maintained? Great question. So the first thing that you need to remember or need to know is that tropical systems really get their energy from the warmth of the ocean. So it all starts with an area of thunderstorms and they become more and more organized and that area of low pressure begins to develop or this trough of low pressure begins to develop as those storms get more and more organized and that counterclockwise circulation around the center of that low develops. You eventually get a hurricane or you could eventually get a hurricane and that's where you get that eye of a very, very strong hurricane. Now we're taking kind of a cross section of a hurricane here. You have that low pressure system at the center. The white here, those are the thunderstorm clouds in an organized hurricane. And within those clouds, within those thunderstorms, you have the rising motion within each one of those bands going through the thunderstorm. Now, along with the rising motion, you have the sinking motion as well. And it kind of creates sort of a cycle. You have rising air, you have sinking air all within that hurricane. Now, if you get a very, very mature or well-defined eye or hurricane, it's because you've got this area of high pressure well up into the top levels of the atmosphere at the top of that hurricane. That area of high pressure, we've talked about this before, things flow from high to low pressure. So you have that sinking motion in the atmosphere, and that's what ultimately creates that well-defined eye and what would essentially be a very strong hurricane.